The Minister of State for Lands, Passes Namuganza, sitting on the front bench in Parliament, reserved for ministers, attracted concern from the legislators. MP Barnabas Tinka Simile took to the floor. I'm confused that uh, the same minister continues to, in the House, to occupy the front bench gazetted for, uh, for ministers. As it was on Tuesday, when Ibukoli Central MP Solomon Sirwanyi raised concern, the Speaker of Parliament, Anita Mong, downplayed the matter. We have very important things to handle. Very, very important things. Can I now ask government, can we have response to leader of government, leader of opposition statement? Uh -uh. Don't divert, divert me. I am not an issue to be diverted. <laughs> MPs who weighed in on the matter blame the law for rendering parliament powerless. So, Honorable Namuganza is still a minister. The president has not removed her from office and she has not resigned. The only way parliament can ensure that now is by carrying out a constitutional amendment and provide that whenever a minister is censored, that minister shall be considered to have lost or abdicated or forfeited office. But again, she's here looking at us saying, but, but these people speaking, are they speaking sense? Did they go to, to, to the fan of the one of the chairman who died and maybe they put there some services in the tea they took? So it's like a joking subject. Tunga Municipality MP Yona Musinguzi, who seconded the censor motion, said with or without a president, Namugaza was exposed to the public. And as usual, he has not implemented. And I don't think the shame is on parliament today, but the shame is on Namugaza herself. Who cannot know that the whole world, she's not wanted by the whole world. The provisions of the law provide that when a minister has been censured, it is upon the appointing authority, who is the president, to take appropriate action.